Welcome back to Business Building by Design. Today we're talking about seasons and if you caught our last episode we've been talking about seasons of change. Well today it's about seasons of waiting. Um, so have you ever been in that spot where you're just waiting, you don't know what to do and you're kind of like, I'm lost. Well today we're going to address that. So I hope you love this podcast and make sure that you subscribe and continue to follow us and we'll talk to you soon. Good morning and I'm in the car again. So um, I just wanted to touch on a few things today and just this is going to be really, really quick. It's like Tuesday morning and um, it's just, gosh, I feel like God is moving me, but I don't know where to. And my the motto is, if I don't know, to just wait. So I'm trying very patiently. Those of you that know me know that I'm not a patient person. And I, I feel like, you know, I feel like I know the direction. So I'm trying to just keep, keep it on, doing what I'm supposed to be doing, but just following his, his path for my life. So, a lot of times, when you don't know, you know, don't make any big decisions, don't make any um, crazy actions, but I'm kind of waiting on a few things to just wrap up. So, I know that they'll happen in their time, but it's so crazy because you, you don't know, and the uncertain sometimes can be frightening. Um, I think that I'm far enough in my faith that... I trust in him and he's always taken care of me before and I know that he will again so I'm just kind of sitting here and it's really hard <laughs> I'm used to being a go-getter a doer and the older I get and the more that I try to take the reins he pushes me back and says wait a minute I'm in charge here not you so I'm just kind of sitting and I'm waiting and I know it's gonna happen I've just got to be patient and do what I do, and then he's going to fulfill his promises. So, I know that we all struggle with this, and a lot of times I've made some very bad decisions just because I was being rash and wasn't waiting and wasn't following God's will. So, I want to encourage you today to seek out his will for your life. Seek out what he has in store for you, and just get in the Word get in God's word and be prayerful and meditate. If you don't do, if you don't meditate and, and um, are prayerful every day, please try it. It's really, really free. Um, I've, as I've talked before, I'm a very, uh, I'm very bad at sitting still. So a lot of times my meditation is while I'm walking. Just to give you an example, this past weekend, one day I walked four miles the next day I got up and walked four more and then about halfway through the day I thought hmm I gotta go again so I went back and walked two more so it, that's my meditation that's how this is what makes me feel good that's how I think and I've talked about that before I know that not everyone's that way but I have a lot of trouble sitting still my mind never stops racing and I know there's somebody else out there like you or like me uh, I have a friend she's the same way so it's it's when I have something on my mind, I've got to get it out and process it. And a lot of times I journal, I write, especially at nighttime. I, keep, I think I've mentioned this before. I keep a notebook in my bed because a lot of times I can't sleep because I have so much on my mind. So I do a brain dump or I either go for a walk or I get my sister Heather, my friend, and I say, get in the car. We've got to go. We've got to brain dump. So we go for a ride. Um, however, you know, how do you, how do you get rid of all of that stuff in your head um, and without letting it control you? You know, let us know how how you do that. It's really everybody has to deal in their own way. You may not do you may not do the things that I do, or you may not have those issues that I do. But I think. Maybe a little bit ADHD, I don't know. But I think that's just part of being creative, too, that you have so many thoughts and so many things in your brain that you just, you know, they're all in there. And you know that 
there's something really great in there. You just got to get it out in a way that other people will understand and that you will understand. Um, so, and a lot of times it's just, you know, you're going to be, um, how should I put it? You're going to have so much information. And then once you write it all down or you get it all out, you can see it's like pieces of a puzzle. And they all come together and you're like, wow. And sometimes they're terrible ideas. <laughs> I've written things down before and then I go back and read it later and I was thought, oh my gosh, what was I thinking? But I feel like part of the creative or part of just like being a scientist, there are so many experiments that go wrong, but that helps you find the right one. So it's not necessarily that they went wrong, it's just they weren't the right one yet. So I encourage you to, again, meditate, be prayerful, and just seek God's word, seek his will for your life, and um, he'll, he'll reveal everything that you need, um, or the universe will reveal it in its time, when it's time, and it will be all his timing. So try not to force anything. Don't, you know, again, my, my motto is, if I don't know, to wait. And so I'm just waiting on the board. So that's all I have for today. I hope you have a great week, and I look forward to talking to you soon. So are you in a season of change or a season of waiting? If so, drop us a message on Facebook, Instagram, follow us at uh, Business Building by Design, or leave us a review with some comments. Let us know what season of waiting or what season of change that you're in. We'd love to hear from you and get some feedback. So again, leave us a review, subscribe, follow, find us on Instagram and Facebook, and we'd love to chat with you. Look forward to talking to you again soon. Have a great day.